Alright, what's going on guys here? I'm going to make a real quick video for you guys showing you how to convert Xbox 360 saves to a PC that you can play, basically. Um, I'm going to show you guys Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. They both work the same. The only thing you got to find out for each game is what file extension the save needs to be changed to. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. To start this off, you're going to need two programs. You have to have Modio and any kind of hex editor. I literally googled hex editor da download and I got this one right here. <coughs> Alright, so first thing you want to do is use Modio, or yeah, plug your USB into your Xbox and copy the save file onto the flash drive. You can handle that part. Once you got that, get them in a folder like this. So we're going to do the Fallout 3 one. So find the name, that, find whichever one that you want. I'm going to get my achievements one on here. So copy that and paste it onto your desktop. Alright, now that you got this, you're going to have to open up a notepad. And there's that. Secondly, go to your control panel, click on Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options, and under View, Advanced, make sure Hide Extensions for Known File Types isn't checked. I'll tell you why in just a second here. Alright, now that you got that, go ahead and open up Audio. You're going to want to open a save and browse to the one that you just put on your desktop. Bam, there it is. So now... Once this is here, go under Advanced, Edit Package Contents, and get the SaveGame.dat. You're going to throw it on your desktop. You can now close Mario, and you can put this over here. So now that you have both of these things, you have to open the saved original one that says, you know, Save 1187. You're going to open that up in the Hex Editor. So go ahead, open up the Hex Editor. And same thing, you're going to do File, Open, and there it is. Now it's going to look like a bunch of gibberish to you, and it does to me too, but you're just going to scroll down until you resemblance of words. So here you can see it says save 11, 87, achievement. You can see all that. You're going to copy all that. Copy, and then just uh, go ahead and close that. Open up that notepad, and paste that in there. Now basically, you're going to backspace and delete every other time. So backspace, delete, backspace, delete, backspace, delete, the whole way through and it'll make uh, sense. You'll see it comes to life. And then get rid of everything at before save. So there's that. Go ahead and, and this is what you want. The non-gibberish. Don't save that. Alright, now just go ahead and take your save.dat and you're gonna get rid of the name. Now here's the extension. The extensions.dat, you're gonna change that to .fos. It's gonna say it's might come unstable, no big deal. Go ahead and press yes, and there you go. Here's your new save. The save will actually work. Um, so I forget that that was Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> All right, Fallout 3. All right, so now go ahead into your name, documents, my games, and go ahead and drop that save in there. Once it's in there, go ahead and launch up the game. And I'll show you that it worked. Yeah, making the video because I had to find a bunch of, uh, oh, oops, shouldn't have clicked. Hold up. I'll launch the game up in a sec. I guess it doesn't like when fraps open. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Sorry about that. I guess it doesn't like to monitor the desktop or record the game. Uh, anyway, right here, go ahead and load in. It's achievements. It's going to say this is some content's no longer available. It's fine. Uh, you're going to have, usually there's like an issue where you're like be walking real slow or something or there's no gun in your hand like that. Go ahead and just fix that. Press caps locks to get rid of the permanent walk. And there you go. I don't ask don't don't ask why this character is all naked because I couldn't tell you. Mm, but yeah, you, I'll go ahead and show you. I've never been on the save before, so we'll go ahead and uh, head inside the house here and see if it's right everything over. So clearly the house is saved. I got a bunch of bobbleheads, lockers. So here's all the stuff. So it's all actually in here. I'm not sure where I put everything in on when I played on Xbox. Uh, but, so nothing up here. So I'd assume everything's just in that chest down there. But as you can see, it did bring over all of my all my guns I had on me. I guess I just had no armor on me. I don't know. It brought caps over. It brought all my stim packs. And it brought over my ammo. So I guess I was just naked. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. It brought over my quest. So yeah, it's fully functional. Uh, I haven't found any issues with it yet. I'm not saying you won't find issues, but I'm saying that I haven't. Um, everything works. And uh, anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped you a little bit. And uh, see you later.